Okay, I will show you uh, how to do the uh, QUCS, uh, how to use the QCS for the simulation. So after you have uh, downloaded everything, you just extract it. Uh, okay, extract it and then uh, you just click on the QCS. Okay, this is the simulator. I will show you how to do the um, basic uh, simulation, transient simulation for the transistor. So you, I already uh, done for my schematic sketch. So I just, I, I just want to show you how to sketch this one. Okay, basically we have the components here. Uh, you can choose uh, the passive, the lump component, uh, the source probe, uh, everything here. Okay, the nonlinear components. Okay, so uh, basically. This is the transist the register. Okay, I get it from here. I get it from here. Okay, set then I set the value uh, 100 kilo, 100 k. So basically, you can change the parameters. So the this is very this is a good very good things for uh, QCS because you can set the parameter the DC one, DC two. Okay, the temp temperature, T norm, uh, everything you can set. Okay, the temperature. So uh, it's very user friendly and then very accurate in terms of uh, you want to know what is the changes if in certain uh, temperature. Okay, so uh, you can get the source here, the source, source voltage here. Okay. The AC, uh, AC voltage, you can get the source here, and then the DC, you can get it here. So uh, the voltage that I set is five volt, and then the AC, uh, I set it at uh, one volt, peak to peak, and then the uh, frequency I set it at one kilo. Okay, and then the this one is basically the DC voltage, uh, I set it at three volt so that I can buy sync the transistor I can on this transistor because we uh, this transistor needs 3 volts to on okay because I here I add the transistor from uh, this here non-linear components and then uh, we here we have a lot like uh, BJT transistor and uh, NMOS transistor PMOS transistor so I just add this one for to here and then I just connect it uh, using this wire, okay. This wire connection, and then uh, I also add the ground here, okay. Okay, so uh, this transistor basically we can also adjust the threshold voltage, uh, everything, okay. Threshold voltage, everything we can adjust. Uh, there's many uh, trans many parameters that we can adjust okay so that uh, it cater for our needs also we can set the temperature okay so uh, this is very uh, user friendly okay and then uh, if the result that uh, will be very uh, accurate if we know how to set the parameters okay and then I also add the this one the uh, simulate the from uh, here the probe so this is what basically the voltage probe I just want to monitor uh, the voltage in between here and here okay this point and this point and then the trans transient simulation you need to add the this one the simulation you need to add the transient simulation uh, okay the transient simulation you need to add and then you need to uh, set this one the time okay I set it at 0 to 20 milli uh, second because uh, our frequency is at 1 kilohertz uh, so I set it at 20 milli then the, the number is uh, 1000 so the step is 20.02 micro okay then these properties uh, we you can uh, edit but uh, I just leave it like this okay try I use the integration method tra 
happy loader okay so I never change anything here I just change uh, I just set the time here okay then okay you need also uh, set one more page for the the graph okay the graph so uh, okay you need to set this one you need to set this one uh, this one is the graph you can get it from here Cartesian okay Cartesian uh, you can get it here Cartesian okay after you put it here you need to put the name okay example I put it input and then you can choose okay this is input right so this is a new graph you can also add the output here okay you can add a lot of uh, a lot of thing here or uh, this is a voltage different right voltage different that I monitor right the DC voltage so I put okay. if I click OK you see everything will come up okay this one but uh, in order to see more clearly uh, we can put it uh, many you can put many many graph we can put many many graph okay you can put different different graph okay so uh, this is how we manage the graph okay in one page okay this is this page basically is to monitor our our result okay so in order to do the simulation we just come back to this mos dot schematic okay and then uh, we just simulate okay this is basically the result okay the, the, the uh, final result okay so I hope you understand uh, how to use uh, this QUCS to do the transient simulation okay thank you